Tucker Kelly here from Ms. Farms, and today my sister Ailey is going to be showing us hers and my dad's rabbit setup. So let's go. This is our summer setup. In the winter we'll have them in a greenhouse with the chickens and that video will come later. Here on Ms. Farms we have three different breeds of bunnies. We have Rex, Silver Fox, and California New Zealand Cross. First breed of bunny was a California New Zealand cross. They're great for meat, but they were super spastic. So we decided to start raising, as well as California New Zealand crosses, Rexes and Silver Fox. So we have Rex, Silver Fox, California New Zealand cross mixes. And they're good for meat, less spastic, and these days we sell most of them for pets, even though the original intention was for meat rabbits. Here on Mizpah Farms, we have two main cages we use, but this is the main one we use for all the adults. It's a foot and a half tall, two and a half feet deep, and three feet wide. We use one inch mesh for most of it, the sides, and then the top and bottom, we use half inch by one inch. That way, when one side gets worn out, we can flip it over, and they always have a good floor. We also will sometimes put a wire down to keep it from falling apart. You can also use two inch by one inch for the sides and the doors. We made this bunny house out of hemlock trees, a couple two by fours, lattice and metal roofing. Now why did we use lattice? Because it looks good and we can grow morning glories off of them. It also okay. gives them shade, right? Yes. Now why did we use metal roofing to keep instead the of like clear off. plastic? Well, clear plastic breaks easily, like when acorns fall on them. We will be talking about sexing bunnies, breeding bunnies, and butchering bunnies in later videos, which will come later. <laughs> when our mama bunnies are close to having babies, we'll put one of these bunny boxes in. We made it out of flashing and leftover mesh. One other thing that's important for rabbits, especially baby rabbits, is to be quiet around them and not have dogs around. The first time we had baby bunnies is we were yelling around them, being all excited and loud. We had uh, my grandmother's dog came over. We were picking up the rabbits and putting it right near the dog so the dog could just say hi. And uh, a couple days later, we started noticing we just had, you know, the rabbits started dying off, the babies, you know, one by one. And uh, then we Googled it and we realized that um, rabbits, you know, if they get really scared, they can like have like a little spasm type thing, like actually break their neck. And they'll be fine for a couple days and they'll just start dying off. So just be careful of that as well. We also have these bunny hutches, which we are keeping our bucks in right now. Those are male rabbits. This is one we made and the important thing we did is we put all the two by fours on the outside. That way they don't get covered in poop. This one was different. We got this one from some friends. And this one, the cage is right on top of it and it gets all poopy and nasty. So yeah, this is what we like to use. We've got a metal roof on it, which is really nice. And this is just the inside of it so they can get out of the weather. That's also what the grain sacks for, keep them out of the rain. We will have drawings for some of these projects at the end of the video and feel free to take a screenshot of it if you want to build your own. So that's how we made it? So that's how we made it. Ah, so that's why it's different? Yeah. So for our water setup, we have these bottles for the summer and spring, and we have these bowls for the winter. They're made out of rubber, and they're really nice because when they freeze over in the winter, you can stomp on them to get all the ice out. For their food, we use this. It's from Blue Seal. It's either Bunny 16 or Bunny 18. The important part with bunny food is to make sure that the fiber and protein are equal. For the rabbit's feeders, we just use normal rabbit feeders. Fill them up. It's nice to have a scooper down here. And for their hay, we have these nice hay racks, which Eiley doesn't like, but they work great and they will waste a lot less. As you can see, this one has it a lot less hay compared to that one, which we've just been throwing the hay on the floor. Yes. Now, what kind of bunny is Blackberry? Um, he, we, we got him from 
from front. So that's why he's much different and much blacker. Hmm. He's actually a silver fox. Um, um, actually, um, he's black, but he's not a silver fox. He's just black. Oh, okay. we wean them at four weeks. So this is plenty safe for stuff to get in. It's um, a nice size so weasels and everything can't get in. And then we just have the same feeder for these guys and we use the same grain and metal roofing to keep the rain off. This sort of house is called a rabbit tractor. It's really good because it's movable. We move it along on the grass and it gives them fresh ground so they don't need as much grain. It's really good. We got two different designs. This is the metal one. It's our favorite. It's lighter. We also have a wood one we'll show you. We learned this type of housing from watching uh, videos about Joel Souden's farm, Polyface Farm. Really, you should check it out. We got a bunch of good information on all sorts of animals. This is our wooden one. We don't like it as much because it's heavier and harder to move, but it's also bigger, so the bunnies get more room. So we have this door. You just take out the sticks and it folds up. But that takes a while, so we, Poppy also made us this one. It's pretty easy, you just lift it up with that. And then that's how you get in there. Now for the babies, we just throw the hay on the floor for them to eat. And it also makes your grass grow better with all the poop. The whole idea of farming your yard is really a great one. Because you can see here where the grass is greener, that's where we had our meat chickens and our rabbits last year. On the other side of that line here where it's all desolate, that's where they didn't go, so their poop definitely helps make the yard quite a bit nicer than this. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is of some help or enjoyment to you. If it was, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you want to find out more about us or want to get some farm products from us, check us out on Facebook at Ms. Farms. Link below. Thank you.